Hey, this is Nick, a.k.a. The Cookie Daddy. My daughter is in Girl Scouts, and this year they wanted to sell cookies for the first time. So I was volunteered as the adult to lead this. And I'm thinking, how hard can it be? Like, it's probably just managing a spreadsheet, right? Wrong. It's a lot more to it than that. As I've quickly found out, there's a lot of training and background checks and so on. And actually no spreadsheets, so they have a lot of built-in tools already, like Digital Cookie and the eBuddy management system. Uh, but you know, being new to this and trying to learn these, I found that um, I'm not really a fan of their tools. eBuddy is very confusing and cumbersome and not easy to use. All the information seems to be there, but it's not it's not all in one place. It doesn't not very well organized or very intuitive at first. So here I am. I thought I'm just going to make my own spreadsheet instead. So here we are with the Girl Scout cookie tracking template. So I'm going to walk you uh, th through this and how to use it. Uh, first, there's some uh, Girl Scout cookie terminology that I've quickly found out. So uh, one thing I learned right away is you don't say boxes. These are not boxes of cookies. These are packages, and then they come in cases. And there are 12 packages per every case. And, and the important thing, too, is they don't mix and match. You, it's 12 of all of one cookie in one case and all of another. It comes into play, you'll see soon. And then I also uh, listed some other uh, websites that are helpful and some of the terminology. We go to the sales summary page. Uh, you can input your troop number here and then list all your list all the Girl Scouts here. Right now I just have it set up for 10. So this is where you're going to track all of your sales. Back in the day when my uh, sister was in Girl Scouts, you basically got a paper form and you went door to door and you just filled out the one paper form and that was it. Nowadays, um, there's basically four ways of four columns of sales you have to track. And three of these are done through the digital cookie application, the, the digital cookie website. So basically each Girl Scout gets a, uh, creates their own website and they can just send out that link to people and then people can order cookies directly on that website and they can either choose to have them be hand delivered or ship directly to them. Uh, shipping's like twelve dollars though, and you have to order at least four packages. So when a customer goes to their digital cookie website and orders cookies, and they choose for them to be hand delivered, those are going to be going to this column. So if you go into eBuddy, these are going to be under the uh, these are called initial orders, at least at the beginning. Uh, when someone buys cookies, they also have the option to donate some for Operation Salute. That's what this column for is tracking all the donated uh, cookies. So these are ones that are just going to be. Uh, automatically shipped out. You don't have to worry about any physical boxes, packages of cookies with these. Uh, paper orders, if you do fill out a paper order, if someone buys them in person, um, our troop decided not to do these just to avoid any extra uh, confusion or extra steps. And then shipped, these are the ones that are directly uh, shipped to a customer. Again, you don't have to worry about hand delivering these. So this column, these numbers can be found in eBuddy under initial orders. Just copy and paste those, and then the other ones are from the girl orders page. So I'm still using the eBuddy, but just to copy and paste the, the data into my own spreadsheet because it has the, the information's all in one area, and you can add uh, some additional uh, visuals here. So, for example, um, each girl can set their goal, how many they want to sell. So that could be different for each one, but for our troop, we decided we wanted each person to try to sell 100 packages. And then over here, we have uh, some conditional formatting set up where it, sh it changes the color based on how many they've sold. So you can see there's two that have already achieved the goal. Um, if we change the goal, you'll see it. So you can see this the package goal. So like if we make the goal bigger, 150. Uh, they haven't reached it yet, or if we make this person change their goal to like five. And also when you can see as I'm changing the goal here, it changes the overall troop goal. And then I have this donut graph down here, which changes the, you can see the total progress of the troop towards reaching their goal. And then uh, packages are $5. So this is just adding up uh, their total sales here. You can see the troop total made $2,710. Of course, these are not 
all going to the troop. Uh, the amount that they get is actually uh, a lot less than that, which you'll be able to see in eBuddy. Right now, I just have that as like troop proceeds. Um, you'd have to copy and paste that from eBuddy just because the formula is different. There's different options uh, you can um, select if, as far as like if you want to get rewards. If you don't want to get rewards, they'll give you know, like five cents more a package uh, to your troop. And I think the more packages you sell, uh, I believe your the percent that goes to you goes up. But again, not exactly sure about that because I'm still learning this. Um, if there is a formula, I will update this later to automatically compute based off of that. And then over here, we have instant rewards. So once they hit certain goals, uh, the Girl Scouts get a reward. So... I have any any cell colored yellow, like most of my spreadsheets, is manual entry. So you can manually enter your, what the goal is in case it changes year to year. And then this is all conditional formatting of formula. So if someone reaches the goal, so let's just say they sell like 100 more. Now they've reached these two goals, so you can see it automatically change. Showing where we have 10. Scouts and our troop, and then PGA, as you can see over here, is the per girl average. So we're averaging 70 for each, but our goal is 90 per each person. And then a another big thing is the cookie breakdown, or the number of packages of each type of, of cookie that you've sold. So these are being, the names are just coming from this sheet and then this information again is in eBuddy that I just copy and paste into here so it's showing the type of packages sold for each of the types of cookies that are being sold here and then it has the total so then again remember going back to here that there are 12 packages in one case so you need to know the, the number of cases that you have to pick up so for adventure foals we've got 26 so we need three packages or, I mean, three cases and so on. So we have to pick up uh, 33 cases of cookies when it's time to pick them up. Oh, so I, I changed some of the, the numbers around, but you'll see these are specifically hand-delivered cookies only. So you'll see, like, number one, hand-delivered 25. So if you come over here, the total should be the same, 25. So I think I messed with some of the numbers, but these, the numbers in this column... So double check should all match these. That way you know exactly how many cases you need to pick up 33. But the thing is, like I was saying before, you can't mix and max match, and you have to pick up a case of 12 no matter, even if you've only sold one package, you still have to get a whole case of 12. So that's what, you, this bottom row is very important because here we've sold 26, so you can see here we've sold 26 packages which require three cases, two full cases, and then the third case we've only sold two of those. So now we have 10 unsold packages. So these are all the unsold packages. So this one ended up being perfect. 60 packages is exactly five cases. We have no extra there, so that's good. These other ones like Lemon Ups, now we have 11 more that we need to sell. Um, so the good thing is, that, like, if you have a booth sale later on, you can use these in your booth. Or just basically you have to try to sell these in person to someone at some point. And then I also have this fun little graph over that shows you which ones are the most popular. Obviously, it's going to be Thin Mints. Almost always, it's going to be the most popular cookie. So then if we add all the packages left to sell up, we got 59. So I'll come back over here. Yep, same as over here, this is 59. And so that's basically $5 per each one of those. That's $295 of unsold packages that we're gonna have to figure out how to, to sell those so we can recoup that money. The next question may be, well, 33 cases, what size car is that gonna fit in? Well, they actually already have that figured out. Um, if you go to the family guide here, I believe it shows you um, an estimate of how many cars or what size cars will hold how many cases. So there you have it. That is the Girl Scout cookie uh, tracking spreadsheet. I hope that kind of helps you, uh, like me, figure as a new person selling Girl Scout cookies, help uh, 
figure this whole thing out. Um, as always, if you have any comments or suggestions, please let me know. And thanks for watching.